Hi, it's Dr. Lee. Today I'll be talking about the do's and don'ts of blepharoplasty or eyelid surgery. So for my eyelid surgery patients, I'd like for you to come in. We'll definitely have a talk to see what the right surgery is for you. But I also do a full vision exam and make sure that the surgery is going to be safe for you. Once we decide to have the surgery, there's a couple things I'd like for you to do to prepare. Make sure that you're prepared for the aftercare. So make sure you've got a lot of nice pillows at home, someone to take care of you. Make sure you get all your prescriptions ahead of time. I also want to make sure for patients who already have eyelid fillers, either above or below the eyelid, to make sure to get that dissolved at least two weeks before the date of surgery. Once you get everything prepared make sure you bring your prescriptions with you some patients will be having their surgery awake so I do like them to take their medications during the surgery or right before the surgery so they're more comfortable I also would like you to sometimes just start taking the antibiotics right away for safety so let's talk about the don'ts after eyelid surgery so for my patients I have four main don'ts after surgery they're the, called the four S's. The first one is stress. Minimize your stress, keep your blood pressure low. I don't want any unnecessary bleeding and I want you to be in a positive attitude so you heal better. The second is minimize your salt, so no salt. The more salts that you have right after, the more likely your swelling is gonna endure, you're gonna have a longer healing period. The third one is no Starbucks, so no coffee. I'm gonna cheat right now. I always have a cup of coffee with me. I do let you have coffee, but I want you to make sure that you're safe maybe about one or two weeks after surgery before you resume your coffee. And the last one is the worst one, no sex. So the sex and the high strenuous activity will, can also cause you to bleed. So as long as you follow the four S's, you should have very minimal risk of complications. Some other advice for after your surgery, I'm going to tell you depending on the type of surgery, whether you can ice or not ice your eyes, depending on whether I do fat grafting or other procedures. So make sure you wait for those instructions from me. The other thing is you don't want to bend over or position your head too low, because that can also increase your blood pressure and bring the blood rushing to your head, which can cause unnecessary bleeding. If you ever have any questions or any concerns, you can always reach out to me 24 seven, either through by phone or through Instagram, and we'll get right back to you as soon as possible.